Surrounded by the damage left behind by Hurricanes Helene and Milton, people across Florida are facing the daunting task of cleaning up, but many lack the electricity and fuel to do it. Hampered by roads blocked by fallen trees and flooding, fuel suppliers and power companies are working to get the infrastructure of daily life back up and running, and police are aiding recovery efforts by providing escorts to fuel tankers trying to reach those most in need. President Joe Biden made his second trip to the state in two weeks to survey the latest hurricane damage. Speaking in St. Petersburg on Sunday morning, the president thanked first responders and local officials for their efforts and empathized with Floridians who had lost everything, saying they are heartbroken and exhausted, and their expenses are piling up. Deaths attributed to storm rise, the latest report shows 23 people died as a result of Hurricane Milton, according to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Gas stations still waiting for fuel, just under 30% of the state's gas stations have no fuel as of early Sunday, according to the monitoring website GasBuddy.com. In the hard-hit Tampa St. Petersburg area, more than three-quarters of stations, 77%, are out of gas. In the Sarasota area, 62%. Around F.T. Myers and Naples area, it's 42%, and in the Orlando area, 35%. More than 37.3 million gallons of fuel has been delivered to Florida ports, according to Kevin Guthrie, director of the state's Division of Emergency Management. We have right now 25 Florida Highway Patrol escorts to rush in the fuel tankers from the port, and so those are being brought in to fill out the stations, Governor Ron DeSantis said. Three public fuel sites in Plant City, Bradenton, and St. Petersburg have been opened, where customers can receive 10 gallons of gas each for free. The governor said more will be open Sunday in Charlotte, Pinellas, and Hillsborough counties. Power is gradually being restored, as of early Sunday, a little over 950,000 customers remained out of power across the state according to PowerUtage.us, down from a peak of nearly 3 million. Crews from across the country are working to reconnect homes and businesses to the grid. The power companies estimate most people will have electricity by midweek. St. Petersburg offers gas and charging stations, the city of St. Petersburg has set up temporary stations to help residents in need, with a place to charge their phones and pick up essentials like bottled water, batteries, and tarps. The city remains under a boil water notice due to multiple line breaks. Debris removal is a major priority, DeSanta said during a Sunday news conference the state is prioritizing debris removal and will allow the public to track the progress. President Joe Biden has approved 100% reimbursements of debris removal costs for 90 days, the governor said, encouraging city and county governments to urgently submit to FEMA their project worksheets with details of how much debris they need removed. 90 days, 100%, it's time to get after it, no excuses, Guthrie said Sunday. This is all of us, all together. All red tape has been lifted and direct permits are being quickly approved on new debris management sites and size and weight restrictions for vehicles conducting removal have been lifted. Debris removal will continue 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, the governor said. President Biden approves major disaster declaration. President Biden approved a major disaster declaration for the state on Saturday, according to FEMA. Federal disaster assistance is available to the state of Florida to supplement recovery efforts in the areas affected by Hurricane Milton from October 5 onward, a FEMA news release stated. Biden's approval makes funding available for people in more than 30 counties impacted by Milton, according to the release. The funds include grants for temporary housing and home repairs. The president also announced Sunday more than $600 million in energy resilience projects to shore up the power grid in places like Florida.